Chief of Defense Staff General Loki Irabo has stated that the Zamfara governor, Bello Matoli, lacks the powers to instruct the commissioner of police in the state to issue gun licenses to the public. This follows a statement from the Commissioner for Information, Ibrahim Dosara, on Saturday mandating individuals to prepare and obtain guns to defend themselves against bandits. But speaking in an interview at the joint exercise for the National Defense College and War Colleges of the Armed Forces of Nigeria, could name to exercise Grand National in Abuja on Monday, General Loki Rabo disapproved the measures taken by Governor Matoli to secure his state against insurgency. He also faulted the directive, asserting that the governor failed to use the available resources at his disposal to mitigate the insecurity issues within his domain. Irabo also clarified the position of the armed forces in the current administration, adding that it was not subject to directives from the state government. gives the right and the powers to the Commander-in-Chief for the use of the armed forces. And I believe that um, what we're doing in Zamfara State and of course across the states of the Confederation is in difference to these provisions of the Constitution. If what I read is is true, I do not also think that the the governor has the powers to instruct the um, the, the commissioner of police to issue licenses because the commissioner of police does not have the powers to issue licenses. Anyway, asking for citizens to bear arms, um, I'm yet to know. I believe that um, the attorney general or the Federation will look at the Constitution and what the laws say and what the powers of the executive governor is to be able to do this. Meanwhile, there are mixed reactions trailing the directive by the Zamfara state government that people should prepare to obtain license to procure weapons to defend themselves and their communities. While some residents say that it is a step in the right direction, others are of the view that allowing individuals to own guns is capable of worsening the insecurity bedeviling the state. The report. The recent directive by the Zamfara state government for people to own weapons for self-defense against terrorists does not go down well with some of the residents of the state, which view the decision as a failure of the government to carry out its primary responsibility of protecting lives and property. They observe that asking residents to procure weapons to defend themselves and their communities is dangerous because it could further create anarchy and chaos instead of addressing the current prevailing insecurity facing the state. The respondents want the Zamfara state government to take a careful look at the decision and its negative implications. They claim the security operatives are determined to win the ongoing war against criminal elements, but they lamented that relevant authorities are yet to provide the operatives with the necessary logistics to win the war. The, the citizens surrender their sovereignty to the government, which government it is unto its right to protect the life and property of the citizens. It's the statement, or I may say, the step taken by the state government have contra went contrary to the uh, theory of states. Because they are ready to fight it. They are ready to fight. But what? Why? Some they have weak weapons. They have weak weapons. The weapons possessed by this mandate are superior than theirs. Hafizu Salisu believes that the only way to end banditry in Zamfara State and Nigeria as a whole is for citizens to face the terrorists using available weapons, which must not necessarily be a gun. He stressed that even if one has the money and license to possess a gun, they must learn how to operate it, maintaining that owning guns is not the immediate solution to the security crisis facing the state. In my opinion, Asking the citizens to arm themselves is not the solution to the problem. There is need for the state government to have a rethink. At best, deploy more security personnel. But arming the citizens will create more problems. The respondents asked the federal and Zamfara state government to demonstrate genuine commitments to tackle insecurity by directing the security agencies to go all out on the criminal elements to flush them out.